Right now we're selling virtually. The principles are identical. The ability for us to make an impact virtually right now on video is significant because if we can make the effort to make the emotional connection like I'm trying to do with you right now, if I can do that with you and no one else does, I made the most impact. I challenge you to do the same thing. When we can't be toe to toe, we have to be face to face. In this new world of virtual leadership and isolation at home versus working from home, as leaders, we need more than phone calls and text messaging and emails because we're used to being toe to toe. We've got to be face to face. We've got to see their reaction. They got to see ours. We have to communicate effectively. And as leaders, that means we have to change. We've got to use video conferencing, FaceTime, whatever you can do to be face to face. But if you believe that what you do really matters, if you truly believe this is the one time that I can make a difference, I can say in that my experience and my knowledge is why you should go with us. This is the one time I get to prove it. This virtual world, understanding questions, allow us to understand of someone's perspectives and their priorities. My number one goal is to find and learn someone's perspective because I know that I need to know how they would answer the question, not how I would answer the question. And I'm more interested about learning more about you than I am telling you about me and what we do. Because if I don't understand you, if you don't like me and we don't, we don't have a connection, I don't think what we have to offer is going to make a difference. I, I think if people don't like us in the beginning, they're not going to buy from us in the end. Whether it's virtual or face-to-face, -face, pandemic, thriving market, it does not matter. The principles of leadership and coaching employees, it does not change. We still are responsible for making our people better versus just merely more experienced or more knowledgeable. As leaders and coaches, we must find new ways to engage, practice, and develop, and to teach our people. You know your closing statement or a closing question. If you don't have one, you need one. Here's my closing statement. Listen, Brian. At the end of the day, whether it's me or someone else, the worst thing you can do is make a decision based off price or cost. My advice to you is go with the person that you trust the most and you think you can help you the most. Because if you make it on price, even if you don't think I'm the best person for the job, you shouldn't buy from me no matter my price. But if I am the best person for the job, you should buy from me no matter my price. That's the advice I give you, I give my brother, my mother, and my best friend. Everyone's looking for someone who is positive because they don't have enough of it in their life. You call someone who doesn't want to talk to you and you're positive, you got a better chance of talking to them than if you're not. Being positive, it's a choice. If we don't wake up this way, we choose it. It's like a thermostat. If you're feeling bad or your house is cold, what do you do? You turn the thermostat on, you turn the heater on, and you bring the temperature up. If you're not feeling happy, turn your thermostat on and bring your positivity up. If there's someone around you making you not positive, get rid of them. If they're a spouse, I can't help you with that. I don't do legal. Don't let the camera keep you from doing what you do. Let it be the tool that differentiates you from everyone else.